hauntings, possession, demons. Just a few of the things that are a direct result of misplaced or disturbed psychic and spiritual energy. There are many documented cases, some resolved, some simple hoaxes, and some that remain mysteries and a source of controversy to this day. One of these hotly debated cases surrounds an elusive company and its employees. Some even believe that these men are merely humanoid vessels and the company a gateway to the darkest depths of hell itself. We are referring to the sample and sound design company and its members, Sound Iron. I'm sure many composers have heard of a particular sampling company on the market called Sound Iron. What many of you won't know, however, is that this company hides an incredibly dark past and houses some disturbing secrets. The company isn't what you think it is. Uh, the men involved aren't who you think they are. They aren't what you think they are. Simply put, Sound Iron is a machination birthed from the devil himself. We've been following this case for years now. Never, never seen anything like it. Not even a year after Sound Iron announced its launch in 2012, we started getting reports of uh, disappearances in the South Bay area of San Francisco. Uh, they were curiously linked. Uh, to each other. They were curiously linked to the, the company's activities as well. Uh, some users of Sound Iron sound libraries would report strange happenings uh, around their house not long after buying these libraries and downloading them for use. Uh, reports would be windows broken, strange figures they'd be seeing in their backyards, and uh, other things like They'd wake up in the middle of the night to find out their computer turned itself on. Especially those who purchase libraries from the 6 series. They would complain the most about these problems. Many here at the department would put that down to simple paranoia or, uh, or pranksters. But then, the murders. There were a series of unexplained murders in the South Bay area during the months of October and November. 2013 to 2014. Uh, but they were no ordinary murders. Uh, they were just bizarre. People would disappear without a trace, and those that did appear. We had some crime scenes that uh, put the scare on us quite a few times. Uh, myself and the other officers during Halloween of, uh, of 13 and 14. Some victims were found with their heads facing 180 degrees around. You know, uh, most of the victims, if not all of the victims, had wildly contorted facial expressions. Just really unnatural stuff. And the real kicker, no fingerprints, uh, no signs of struggle, uh, nothing like that. Uh, it didn't even seem like the bodies were moved uh, after the time of death. As a matter of fact, the weirdest thing was, at the crime scene, there wasn't any trace or evidence whatsoever of anyone entering the area or leaving the area around the time of death, which is just strange. That just doesn't happen. Every victim was found in a state that indicates they were completely alone at the time of death. But how did they get there? That's the thing we can't figure out. I knew something was up. Soundline's history goes back to 2008. Their six series of products uh, in particular, originally started with the first recordings taking place long before the company launched in 2012. Then came SICK2, SICK3, etc. Looking back at the first library in the series, there were cases of bizarre deaths happening early as then. 
but no one really started making the link, the connection, until now. Did you ever stop to think for a second? Are they staged or real? There's a growing number of people who believe they are, in fact, real. Could the recordings be real recordings of victims, torture, demonic possession? I've asked that myself uh, quite a few times now. And? I believe they're real. You want the truth? I believe the recordings are real. I believe these men are vessels to channel the dark energy contained within the depths of hell itself. And I believe the company they represent is not a company, but a gateway to hell itself. The time is running out. It's October. Who's going to be next? How far is this going to spread? Is anyone safe? We need to do something about this soon. We need to delve deeper into the... Uh, what happened? Was it a power out? Oh no! We are.